So, basically, this video is going to be about, um, Lord Voldemort. For those of you not familiar with Lord Voldemort, Lord Voldemort is a, uh, the biggest villain, pretty much the only villain, a head honcho villain of the Harry Potter franchise. Lord Voldemort is considered to be the most powerful dark wizard of all time. Basically, to really understand the story of Harry Potter, you have to understand Harry Potter's villain. If you don't already know this, Harry Potter has a little bit of Lord Voldemort inside of him. I'm going to be explaining a little bit about the, the history of Lord Voldemort and how he became Lord Voldemort. He was born on 31st of December 1926 as Tom Marvolo Riddle. Tom Marvolo Riddle was born to parents, obviously. He was a half-blood wizard. His mother, Merope Gaunt, was a witch. His father, Tom Riddle Sr., was a muggle. Merope and Tom Riddle Sr. had a long relationship fueled by Merope's love potions. One day, Merope decided that she wasn't going to use those love potions anymore because she was expecting a child and she thought that Tom Riddle Sr. would have already fallen in love with her. Wrong. As soon as the effects of the love potions wore off, he ran. He left Marope alone with her soon-to-be-born son. She gave birth at an orphanage. Needless to say, Tom Riddle Jr. killed his own mother. Well, he didn't exactly kill her, but she died in childbirth, so technically, he killed her. So, little Tom is now an orphan in an orphanage. The ladies at this orphanage start to see as Tom is growing up that he's really peculiar. They start to notice that he's kind of sort of mean to the other kids at the orphanage and they think that he might need some mental help. One day, Albus Dumbledore found out about Tom Riddle and decided to pay him a visit at the orphanage. Now, at this point, Tom Riddle nor the people at the orphanage know about Tom Riddle's powers. Albus Dumbledore meets Tom Riddle in his room at the orphanage and has a little talk with him. He knows that Tom Riddle has special gifts, and at first Tom Riddle hesitates when talking to him because he thinks that he's just another mental doctor trying to see if there's anything wrong with him. Dumbledore gains his trust by showing him a couple of his tricks, and Tom Riddle is overcome with a wanting for power. So, Albus Dumbledore decides to let Tom Riddle know about Hogwarts. So Tom Riddle is accepted at Hogwarts and at this point Albus Dumbledore wants to help this child but at the same time he kind of sort of expects that Tom Riddle's not your normal wizard child. His first day at Hogwarts he's placed in Slytherin. To everybody else on the outside who didn't really know Tom Riddle personally thought that he was a talented, handsome, polite kid. But to everybody else that actually knew Tom Riddle for Tom Riddle, he was cruel, arrogant, and sadistic. Tom Marvolo Riddle begins questioning his history. Who is he? Who are his parents? And how special is he as a wizard? He soon discovered that, um, his mum was the witch in their relationship, and that his father was just a muggle. He became disgusted with the idea that he was a half-blood wizard. He took matters into his own hands, and completely isolated his history from who he was at that point. He renamed himself Lord Voldemort. Riddle left Hogwarts for a brief moment in time 
to begin an employment at Borgen and Burke's. It was there that he encountered in his travels the dark arts. So he recruits a bunch of people, most of which were in the Slytherin House at the time that he was at the Slytherin House. He became very powerful and his army, the Death Eaters, became very enthused with this being. He found out about a specific type of magic. Pocox. This type of magic would enable Lord Voldemort to become immortal. He soon heard of a prophecy where it was believed that Voldemort would be terminated by a person who was as equally powerful as him. So that really ticked him off. So he essentially set off to kill those people in the prophecy. He and his Death Eaters murdered most of the Order of the Phoenix, including Lily and James Potter. One of Lord Voldemort's Death Eaters was Snape. Snape was inevitably in love with Lily, so he asked the other side to give him a little help. Now at the time, Dumbledore didn't know that Snape was part of the Death Eaters, but he knew of the prophecy and he knew that he would need someone as powerful as Lord Voldemort to defeat Lord Voldemort. He took it upon his hands to protect Harry Potter. Although Snape thought that he was going to protect Lily as well as Harry. Lily ended up dying, but before she could, she interfered with one of Lord Voldemort's most famous curses and in turn gave Harry a part of him with Lord Voldemort's physical body being terminated. And then from there, the story begins. A couple of people that were related to him that played a big important part in forming Lord Voldemort were Salazar Slytherin, which of course was the founder of Slytherin House. His father that infused all the hatred he had for half-bloods and muggles and muggleborns. As for anybody that he was romantically in love with, never really happened. Although, there was one person who always seemed obsessed with Voldemort, Bellatrix Lestrange. So yeah, that's pretty much the brief, very brief history of who Lord Voldemort was. Thank you for watching, and I hope that, um... I made your Harry Potter experience a little bit better. Bye. Hi, Crix. Hi, Crix. Hi, Crix.